Even though the holiday season is pretty much over, there is a large possibility that Santa did not bring you the gift that you were waiting for this Christmas. And if you're broke like many of us, you really want to know what other devices are out there that are affordable to your pocket. So I'm Jaime Rivera. This is Pocket Now, and these are our top five picks for best affordable devices for the end of 2013. Number five is any Amazon Kindle tablet, and bear with me here. Amazon Kindle tablets are not really the devices that we would recommend most, but if you're out there trying to buy a tablet for your kid, your little brother, your sister, or anybody, $139 will get you a Kindle Fire HD, and that is just crazy. The problem is obviously you're stuck with the Amazon ecosystem, and if you don't like it, then you're pretty much stuck again. But then again, there are a lot of tutorials out there on how to root these tablets and how to get, you know, stock in. Android running on them. So for $139, this is really the most unbeatable deal out there. Even though, again, these are not the best tablets we'd recommend for the Amazon ecosystem on its own because these are actually very powerful tablets. Number four are most Windows phones, and I'm even talking about the high-end smartphones out there. The Lumia 1020 right now costs you less than to buy any iPhone or pretty much almost every Android flagship, which is great. And if you're really in the budget sector, you can get the Nokia Lumia 520 or 521 for a crazy 70 bucks. Almost everywhere, these are probably like the best offerings. And the reason why I'm saying this is because there are actually no bad Windows phones out there. Most of them are really, really good. You get the the best experience out there for your money. And again, Windows phones aren't really bad. This is just an emerging platform, sadly. It's growing. It's still not where it should be. But again, these make really great gifts. Number three are some Windows tablets, and specifically the Dell Venue tablet lineup. Right now, you can get a Dell Venue 8 Pro for $250. And what makes this tablet special is that you're not buying a Surface RT or a Surface 2 or whatever. You're buying a full-fledged Windows 8 tablet. We're meaning the full Windows 8 running on this tablet for $250. It's very portable. It's actually very beautiful. And it's very powerful and very capable. Yeah, Atom processors are not the best. But for $250, you get a full-fledged computer that you can give your kids to go to college, you can give your kids to go to high school, or whatever. It's better than buying them an iPad, I'll tell you that. Again, for 250 bucks. Number two is the Moto G. I mean, oh my god. $200 for a full-fledged Android smartphone that currently already runs Android 4.4 KitKat. This is probably one of the best deals out there, and surely it doesn't have the best camera or whatever, but if you really want a non-compromise Android experience, this is the way to go. There's actually no other way to go. Even if you have better deals with Windows Phone, this is probably one of the best smartphones out there when it comes to giving you more bang for your buck. $200 is just unbeatable. And a lot of us are actually in love with this phone mainly because it is that inexpensive and that good. And the top number one device or pretty much devices that we'd recommend you buy or give to anyone this holiday season are Nexus smartphones and tablets. The Nexus 5 and the Nexus 7. The Nexus 7 will cost you 230 bucks. And you're probably getting one of the best Android tablets in the market. We're just not talking about an inexpensive tablet. This is pretty much one of the best ones. And then in the case of the Nexus 5, even though it's not one of the best Android smartphones in the market, Pretty much all the quirks that we have with it are software based. There is still a lot more to go with this smartphone. And for $350, it is definitely one of the best deals in the market right now. Again, not necessarily just for the price tag. These devices are not great just because they're priced right. You get the newest version of Android and you get really good hardware for your money. That's probably one of the best deals out there. But anyways, that leads me to the question of this top five. What deals would you recommend? What did you buy right now? Or which of these devices would you get out of the list? Or would you include other devices in the list? In my case, honestly, the Nexus lineup is probably the best, but leave us a comment down below. What are your picks? That's it for our top five. Thank you very much for watching. If you have another pick, make sure you leave us a comment down below. And also make sure you follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next top five.